These are the mysterious forbidden areas in the world that you cannot set foot in. 1. The Doomsday Vault, located in Norway. This is the largest seed bank in the world, built to help humanity survive in the days of apocalypse when food supplies are depleted. 2. The Tomb of Qin Shi Huang, in China. 7,000 terracotta soldiers were placed in the tomb with the purpose of protecting the soul of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. 3. Poviglia Island, in Italy. It may look beautiful, but in the past, it was used to quarantine thousands of people afflicted with contagious diseases to prevent their spread. Legend has it that 50% of the soil on this island is composed of human remains. These are the animals with the longest breath-holding abilities in the world. Firstly, the weakest breath-holding creature is the human, capable of holding their breath for only one to two minutes, with the maximum record being four minutes. Beyond four minutes, it's a matter of luck and one may risk their life. Next is the hippopotamus, which can hold its breath underwater for about five minutes. Following that is the dolphin, which can hold its breath for eight to ten minutes. Dolphins always sleep with one eye open to watch out for enemies, and when they run out of oxygen, they come up to the water's surface to breathe. Next, the sea lion and penguin can dive underwater for about 20 minutes. Surprisingly, the next creature can outlast these two. It's the sloth. It can stay underwater for 40 minutes, not to mention that it moves three times faster underwater than on land. The lungfish can hold its breath underwater for about 90 minutes, with a record of 120 minutes when it has to dive deep to find food. Second to last is the sea turtle, which can stay underwater for 4 to 7 hours. And the champion is the Fulvolaniata spider, capable of staying underwater for 40 hours. So, if you're afraid of spiders and encounter this one, you should squash it immediately instead of throwing it into the toilet and flushing it because it will resurface and continue to haunt you. This man is paid to do nothing. Let's meet Morimoto, a 39-year-old Japanese man. He's known as the man who does nothing. Morimoto graduated with a master's degree in physics from the prestigious Osaka University and worked as an editor at a publishing company. However, due to harsh treatment and severe criticism from his boss, in 2017, he decided to quit his job and become a person who does nothing. When you hire Morimoto, he will be by your side and do absolutely nothing except being a companion. People usually hire him to share their life stories. When attending parties, he will do nothing but listen and respond with very short sentences. Each time you hire Morimoto, it costs around $100, and he only takes on three clients per day. Since 2018, he has served over 4,000 clients. This woman is the real-life version of the Sleeping Beauty. Carolina Olsen, also known as the Sleeping Beauty of Okno Island in Sweden. She fell asleep at the age of 14 and didn't wake up until she was 32 years old, 18 years later. The story goes that on a beautiful day, Carolina was taking a walk and accidentally slipped into a frozen lake. She returned home with a severe headache and toothache. Her mother believed that she had been enchanted by a witch, as superstitions were still prevalent in the area back in 1876. They told her to go to sleep and think about it the next day, and so Carolina went to sleep and never woke up. Strange things began to happen from that point on. Doctors regularly came to examine her and discovered that despite sleeping for so many decades, her hair and nails did not grow long, they still remained normal. Typically, for people who are bedridden, their muscles in their arms and legs gradually shrink, but that did not happen to Carolina. Her body remained completely normal and healthy. Then, on a fine day in 1908, when she finally woke up and her family came to see her, Carolina was shocked because she couldn't recognize her grown-up older brother. She still thought of herself as being 14 years old, but in reality, she was 32 years old at that time. These are the craziest ways people have used to avoid going to jail. Alan Knight from the UK stole £40,000 from an elderly person with memory loss and then pretended to be bedridden and in a coma to avoid getting caught. While in a coma, he was caught on surveillance cameras shopping at a supermarket. 
the police became suspicious and accessed his wife's computer, where they found pictures of him on vacation while supposedly in a coma. Instead of serving a two-year sentence, he ended up with an additional two years for defrauding the authorities. Next is a woman named Kimberly Dew from Iowa, USA. She was stopped by traffic police and had to pay a fine. However, instead of paying the fine, she staged her own death in a traffic accident. She even impersonated her own mother to place an obituary in the local newspaper. After being discovered, instead of paying a $500 fine, she received a five-year probation. Lastly, there is a man from China who had an argument with his uncle and, in a fit of rage, ended up killing him. He then changed his name to Wang Gui and pretended to be a deaf and mute beggar for 12 years. Eventually, he was caught. During the interrogation, when asked why he pretended to be a beggar for all those years, he tried to open his mouth to answer but both he and the police were surprised because he couldn't speak anymore. Due to not using his vocal cords for 12 years, he had become genuinely mute, initially pretending to be mute but then actually losing the ability to speak. This is the lake that claimed the lives of 1,700 people in just one night. Lake Nyos in Africa. Every few hundred years, a natural disaster occurs here. The bottom of this lake is filled with carbon dioxide, CO2, from volcanic activity and the decay of organic matter. Carbon dioxide accumulates at the bottom of the lake day after day until it becomes too full to hold, causing it to rise to the surface and explode with a loud bang creating a 25-meter high tsunami-like wave, accompanied by a cloud of CO2. This phenomenon is called a limnic eruption. In 1986, a carbon dioxide eruption occurred, and the released CO2 spread to nearby villages. When this CO2 cloud reached the ground, it displaced the oxygen, causing the people in the villages to suffocate from carbon dioxide poisoning. The eruption claimed the lives of 1,746 people, along with 3,500 livestock, and affected the residents within a 25-kilometer radius of the lake. This is the story of the Russian sleep experiment, a sinister experiment that created a demon. In the 1940s, during World War II, the Soviet Union developed a substance that could keep soldiers alert and awake on the battlefield for an extended period. The government decided to conduct an experiment using this substance on five war prisoners. They were placed in a spacious room equipped with everything they needed, such as books, a resting area, a toilet, and food supplies. They were allowed to do anything they wanted except one thing, sleep. Although the room was spacious, it was sealed, and oxygen was continuously pumped in for them to breathe. However, at the same time, the experimental substance was also pumped in as a gas for them to inhale continuously. During the first four days, they conversed with each other normally, sharing stories about war and family. But on the fifth day, strange phenomena began to occur. They stopped talking to each other and started murmuring to themselves. On the ninth day, the researchers told the test subjects that they would be set free if they complied, but a voice from within the room responded, We don't want to be set free. On the 15th day, during a checkup, they discovered that one subject had died, while the remaining four subjects had mutilated and consumed their own bodies. After multiple attempts to resist, only one subject survived. He smiled and said, Have you forgotten so easily? We are you. We are the madness that lurks within you all, begging to be free at every moment in your deepest animal mind. We are what you hide from in your beds every night. We are what you sedate into silence and paralysis when you go to the nocturnal haven where we cannot tread. These are the most bizarrely talented individuals in the world. First is Mr. Tyne Gok, a 81-year-old man from Vietnam. He suffers from a rare condition that prevents him from sleeping, yet remarkably, he remains relatively healthy. Currently, he has been sleepless for over 40 years, equivalent to more than 12,000 nights. Next is Elizabeth Sulcer, who has a peculiar condition called synesthesia. This means that her senses in the body cross-wire with each other, allowing Elizabeth to see and taste music. 
in the penultimate position is an anonymous woman known as the Fearless Woman. She suffers from a strange disorder that has completely eliminated her amygdala, the part of the brain responsible for fear. She recounts an incident where a robber held a knife to her throat in a park. Instead of being frightened, she simply tossed the knife away and told the robber, Darling, if you're going to kill me, you're gonna have to go through my god's angels first. Instantly, the robber promptly fled. Dean Carnazes, the man who runs without ever stopping. There is a remarkable phenomenon in his muscles that allows him to run tirelessly without experiencing fatigue. He has participated in 50 consecutive marathon races within a span of 50 days, without taking any breaks. Mutants are real guys. These are the Sherpa people, who have lived for over 6,000 years in the Himalayan mountain range and are renowned as the most skilled mountain climbers in the world. Sherpas often guide explorers or professional mountaineers to the roof of the world, Mount Everest. Here is a Sherpa named Tenzing Norgay, the first person to reach the summit of Everest. For those living at altitudes above 2,500 meters, symptoms such as headaches, loss of appetite, or sleeping difficulty may occur. More severe conditions include cerebral edema and pulmonary edema caused by oxygen deprivation, which can lead to death. The bodies of Sherpa people are different from those of ordinary individuals because they have lived at altitudes of 4,500 meters or higher for over a thousand years. If you have ever been to high mountain regions, you may have experienced the sensation of breathlessness due to the thinness of the oxygen at high altitudes. The bodies of Sherpas have undergone genetic mutations that allow them to utilize oxygen more efficiently, and they can generate more energy in the absence of oxygen.